Hi everybody, I'm going to do the Collective Divine Masculine Energy, or Twin Flame Energy for today, okay? And I want to thank everybody who has sent me gifts off my Amazon wish list. It's like Christmas, I mean, I'm not used to receiving like that, so very, very grateful, okay? I, I really enjoy it, okay? Thank you again. So first off, I see with the moon that some of you are going to get new starts right now. So the full moon has... Push the masculine into some more thinking, okay? Some fresh starts right here, okay? And I see that some of you may have done some manifesting during the full moon, okay? Or perhaps did a spell or something in that nature is what I'm picking up, okay? I'm also seeing that some of you got contact from the masculine. Then the contact was gone and you're in heartache, okay? That You're just like aching and some of you are like upset and you just... You're stepping back from the connection right now. You're you're just heartbroken. They're not contacting you or anything like that, okay? And, you know, that's okay. That is okay to step back. That is okay to be upset. You need to purge those emotions, okay? And I do feel that you need to be careful to not get angry at your masculine and do something that you regret, okay? Just be very careful with how you handle, how you feel about your masculine right now if you're upset, Okay. The masculine is still thinking of you from a distance, though. That is coming up right now, even if they're not talking to you. The reason you're not talking to, they're not talking to you is a lot of times they have something going on. Their inner child wounds resurf resurface again, past life wounds, things like that, and they're trying to face this, okay? And they protect the connection by backing away and not talking. It's better than, you know, abusing you or doing something like that because twin flames don't hurt each other like that, okay? I'm also picking up here... There's a lot of sexual energy again. Masculine's thinking about their feminine in a very sexual manner, so that's coming up here. Feminine wants to nurture the masculine. There is a lot of third-party situations still going on. I am seeing the masculine is trying to get the courage to leave their karmic partner right now. The ones in karmic situations, okay? But they're codependent because of financial constraints. And a lot of them have families. They have children they're thinking about, okay? And they don't know how to leave and make things fair and have that balance, okay? They're trying to have that balance, but they want victory with you. They want that victory, okay? Because they know that you are a connection from fate, okay? And they're trying to decide. They're trying to decide, okay? And for some of you, there's gonna be new love coming, a fresh start with this connection, okay? And for some of you, I'm picking up, there's been a situation since March with your masculine, some troubled times, thing like things like that, okay? And the difficult part is going to be over very soon here, okay? Some of the masculine have been very immature emotionally. Some of them may be younger than you, but I'm picking up a lot of emotional immaturity, okay? And a lot of you that are having situations where your masculine step back, it's just going to be temporary, okay? They will come back, okay? It's just going to take a little bit. It's not forever. It may seem like forever, but it's not, okay? I am picking up that a lot of you are working on your financial situation, your career, mainly the feminine here, and the masculine starting to step up and do the same, okay? They're trying to build their foundation, and they're doing this. I feel mainly for the feminine to show the feminine, hey, I can do it too. You did it. Now it's my turn, you know? There's contact coming in. I mean, this is, this is very clear. There's contact coming in for a lot of you. Okay, and I feel positive about this contact. See, message in a bottle here, okay? And I feel that a lot of you are going to get this contact out of the blue, like they email you or they just like text you like, hey, you know, what's up? That sort of thing, okay? They're really thinking about it. I'll tell you that much, okay? And like I said, the karmics are trying, they're trying to get rid of the karmics. I'm sorry, I'm kind of tired today. And they, But they want to be fair about it. They really want to be fair. They don't want to hurt her, the mother of the child, you know, their first love, their high school sweetheart, what have you, you know? And a lot of you are wondering, like, why aren't they leaving her for me? Like, I want him, you know, it's that sort of thing. Do not be pushy on the situation, okay? Or you're going to manifest the opposite of what you want. And like I say over and over again, if the situation is not ready for union, you're not going to have a healthy union, okay? Twin flame relationships are not fairy tales, okay? They're not. And when you first meet them, you know, a lot of you are like, I want to be with them now. I want to be with them now. That's not how it works. This is a process. This is a, a learning experience, a healing, healing your inner child wounds, healing past life wounds to make you a better person. Okay. Union is not going to happen permanently, immediately. Maybe for some twins that happens, but it's a very rare thing. And a lot of you feminine are going, but why? But why? Okay. It's because of the steps that you have to take. 
You need to look and see what do I need to heal? What do I need to do to make myself a better person? What goals do I need to achieve? You know, think of that. So, or why am I upset? Because if you're upset, that emotion is a reflection of something inside of yourself. So you need to really think about that. Write it down. That's what Spirit's telling me to tell you to do. Write it down. Write your feelings down, okay? And a lot of you are going to have a fresh start with this moon. A new life. A new life, okay? You're purging. You're letting go of things that have bothered you. You're going to cry. You're going to sob. You're going to have sleepless nights, okay? Let this out. Grieve it out so you can move forward, okay? Tower moments for a lot of people right now. That's what I'm being told. Truth is going to come out. Some masculines are coming forward, and they are going to tell you something they may have been holding in, okay? Some of it's going to be bad I am picking up. Some of it's going to be good. Some of it is going to be secrets. And I feel some of it is kind of gossipy things that you don't know about that sort of nature or something they're lying to you about. That's kind of what I'm picking up for a majority of you. But some of you are going to get feelings. You're going to get feelings like, hey, you know, I do care about you, that sort of thing. You know, in the masculine, they've been facing the dark night of the soul, too. So, you know, they are. They're, they're struggling, you know. They're well aware this is a sacred journey. They are protecting this connection, even with the karmic partners there. They are very protective of their feminine, okay? Blessings are coming forward. A lot of them are in hermit mode. Like I was saying, they step back. They're thinking. They're walking away. And they're trying to figure out their marriages, their karmic partners, that sort of thing, okay? But like I said, I do see some divorces or separations coming forward. Here's justice and death, okay? I really see that. Some for the feminine as well. You know, and this was right next to this card, Karmic Partner. So that's how I see it. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. And they know that you are the safe person. Like, they feel safe with you. Even if the relationship is hard, they feel safe. They feel at home. They feel that warmth with you. You give them butterflies. You give them what they've never had, okay? But they feel stuck. Something is holding them back. Whether it is Karmic Partners, work, children, you know, negative energy, healing, you know, anything here. But they wish for you. They're trying to manifest, okay? They're trying to manifest. A lot of them are being stubborn, okay? Very stubborn. They're not going to leave their karmic partner because they don't want to admit their marriage failed. They don't want to admit they're not in love anymore. They're not going to tell you that. But they think about it, okay? So I do see a successful outcome for a lot of people coming up after this blue moon okay i really do i see some success okay and here's my cards i'm going to pull some out of my deck if anybody wants to purchase this deck drop me an email i will leave it in the description okay they see yourself in in you okay so like i said feminine's been working on career masculine is following okay they're going to follow you you never leave their thoughts they're always thinking of you morning day and night okay they have a dark cloud surrounding them. Like I said, they're purging as well, okay? A lot of them have kids to think about. That's why they're with the karmic. They got these children. It's not easy, guys, okay? It's not easy. The energy is just too much for them. They can't handle it. They step back. Some of them talk to you, and they got that wave of energy, and they're like, I can't do this. Okay, that's what I'm picking up. And a lot of them are going through awakenings right now, Okay. They know this is a spiritual connection. That's why they are protective. So if anybody tries to down talk their feminine, they are protecting this one way or another. Okay? A lot of them need space again. I know that's always a problem. I know. But they put you on a pedestal. I think a lot of masculine look at their feminine and see their success or what have you. And they're like, wow, look what she's doing, you know. She's so beautiful. She's so smart. She's so successful. That's what I'm picking up right now. And that kind of makes them feel worthless, like they're so far behind you, okay? And a lot of them are toxic, you guys. There's some that I'm picking up obsession. I am picking up that a lot of them have depression, addiction, things like that. Just toxic anxiety. And that's the thing. When there's toxic things going on, you don't want to be in union with them. That's not a good time. It's not a good time, okay? But they want you to not take what they said personally. Some of them said things they did not mean, okay? A lot of them feel like they're not good enough for you. They don't. They look at you like, oh my gosh, she's got a, you know, awesome career. She's got a degree. She's successful. And here I am, 
you know, and they just feel like they're not good enough, okay? That's just coming up here, and that's something they need to heal as well, okay? There's a lot of synchronization going on, guys, and I am seeing it tremendously. 222-444-999 I saw today. I mean, it is non-stop, non-stop. I just saw 1010 when I said that, okay? A lot of the masculine don't know what to say to you, feminine. They don't have the right words. They feel damaged, like they cannot do this right now. They're not the same person they that you remember, so they are changing. They are working in themselves. A lot of them are going to be stubborn. They're not going to tell you that, but you'll see it. You'll see it, okay? They're sorry they couldn't do right by you. And a lot of them that tested third-party situations, the single ones anyway, they realized the grass wasn't greener on the other side. Or a lot of them that are staying with their wives or trying to make it work with their girlfriends, baby mamas, that sort of thing, they're realizing that you're irre irreplaceable, okay? They just see that, they know it, they feel it. Words linger in the mind. The ones that are in separation, they hear your words, okay? It comforts them in a way. And they're saying most of all that you're going to be get together again, but they have stuff they need to take care of and they want you to understand that, okay? And that's all I have today. And I'm also picking up some of you are gonna see rainbows as a sign, okay? Have a wonderful evening.